It was late afternoon, and the sun was sinking lower in the sky, and the moon was just peeking his head over the horizon. Then the sun turned to the moon and said, "Everyone loves the bright and beautiful day I provide, but hate the, the damp and cold night you bring." Sharing the sky, written by Amelia from Bedfordshire, is a story which reflects the world today. After years of writing and entering the 500 Words competition. Becoming a finalist this year was a surprise. I was really excited, and I also felt a bit strange because it was at nine o'clock at night, and I also felt happy that my parents had thought of waking me up. Um, my friends had supported me, and I am really happy about that. And I'm sure their stories were great too. Um, and I'm trying to support them in their tough times too. When the news arrived, her parents couldn't wait to tell her. I think I jumped off. I think we got the email. It was like she was in bed already, but we kind of ran upstairs and we were, we were like Amelia, Amelia, and uh, yeah, just really wanted to tell her because we knew how excited she'd be as well. And her dad believes it could be her year. It would be an amazing achievement for her if she, if she were to if she were to win or, or come placed and. Uh, uh, probably encourage her to, to keep going, although I think even if she doesn't, she'll still keep going because she loves doing those things. Other finalists in our region are Joseph from Hitchin. Now Harry loved all of God's creatures, even those with the weirdest of features. But for Harry, life wasn't that simple. In my experience as a teacher, I would say that you should never bring a lion to school. Please Enya, who's from Bedfordshire. It was the start of the week, and I especially hate the start of the week. And 13-year-old Arya from Buckinghamshire. I mean, look at those menacing claws. Bears would be terrified, and Satan himself would look at God and say, Whoa, dude, that's too much, even for me. In a few weeks' time, these young writers will be finding out who the winner is for this year's competition, which will be announced by Zoe Ball on the Radio 2 Breakfast Show on 12th of June. Dear Jacomba, BBC Look East.